In this tutorial, I will teach you how to solve the 3 by 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube created by Erna Rubik. Now, this cube is a common household item, but never solved. But that's why I'm here. I'm going to put an end to all of that. I'm going to take your scrambled 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube into a solved 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. So let's begin. But before I can teach you how to solve it, I must teach you some notations. Okay. Alright. This side facing you is the front side, therefore front. So, front. This side here is the right side, therefore right. This side is the left side, left. This side is the, the, the top side, and this side is the bottom side. You get the point. Alright, so I'm going to teach you some algorithms. Now these algorithms, as long as you memorize them in your head, you don't need to be fancy about it and being like, oh, I know, I know what to do, I know algorithms, I'm fancy. You don't need to do any of that. As long as you follow my steps, you'll be alright. So let me just scramble this cube in a sec. Okay, your first goal is to get a cross. It doesn't matter on um, on what, it doesn't matter what you do to get it, uh, or what color you choose. There are six colors, orange, blue, uh, red, green, yellow, and white. There are orange colors, and you can pick any of them. But to do the to do the crosses, you must know some algorithms, and I will teach you it. I usually do the yellow, um, not the yellow, the white side first. So let's just go ahead and do that. All right. So you have for, for it to work, you must find four pieces that can go here to form a cross. So you find that I found that one of them is already in its spot. Red, red, white, white. If you just rotate it up, it will form uh, one, um, one fourth of the cross. So, white, white, red, red. All right, let's do something else. See this blue one? It has to go over here. But to move it, you must get all the white edge pieces on the bottom side. So, rotate it over here. Sorry if that was a little fast. It was over here. So you just have to rotate it twice to where it has to go underneath the blue. So blue, 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 white, white, and just rotate it up. And then you get an L. But that doesn't matter in the, in the white cross. Now next what you have to do is you have to pair up another one. So here's the orange. It has to go here. So let's move it again. One, two. And then here is orange, orange, white, white, and you just have to rotate it up. So now you have almost the whole uh, white cross. But in some cases, it will not be like this. In some cases, it will look like this. When, when the cubelet is in the right spot, and then you go here to flip it up, and this piece is flipped. What are we going to do now? Well, I'll show you. Take it back down to where it was. This is the algorithm I use. It's a very short, simple algorithm. So make sure you get the white green piece or whatever other color you have. If the white is facing you and you cannot flip it to go over there, do this little algorithm. And the cube, well, part of the cube will be solved. The that was the first step, getting the white cross, and you did it. So pat yourself on the back. You did the correct way. This is the correct way to do the cross. Red, red, green, green, orange, orange, blue, blue, white. All right. So, uh, so right now... Let's uh, just do the corners. So, corners. Very, very simple. You must get them all on the bottom side. Not too hard. So, you have to find... The corners have three colors. So, let's put the... Cor this corner does not belong here. 
What does belong here is the white, orange, and blue color. So, it happens to be right here. So I'm going to put it down, and it has to go up there. What do you do? Now, this is how I always used to remember it. You see this white piece? If it's in its spot, blue, orange, white, and this is the cube that has to go up here, I remember it like this. The side that the white is on, I hold it with my palm, bring it down, twist it to connect these two, connecting them, and bring it up. And I actually got a part of the second layer done. That's, uh, I got an F2L. Well. I did F2L by mistake. And that is an advanced method. You don't need to get into that. Right now, you want to learn how to solve the it, in the beginner's method. So let's do some more. But before we do some more, there is a case where the white is on the bottom. Now, this is not really, I don't consider it an algorithm because it's simple. So I'll just show you it, but it's simple. Hold the cube like this and do and do what I do. One, then one, two, the white, and then bring it up. And now the white will be on the will be on the uh, on this side. So put it where it has to go. Orange, orange, green, green, white, white. The palm, hold the palm, bring it down, connect the two, and bring it up. There you do have, um, all right, half of, half of it is done. Now then, suppose that the cube that has to go there is already in its spot, but it has to be flipped, has to be permuted. Well, there's no easy algorithm to do that. So you will have to bring this down, put it to the side and bring it up, and therefore do the algorithms again. So palm down, connect it, and bring it up. All right, and for the last one, you put it underneath its spot, and you do that down, one, two, bring it up, put it where it has to go, red, red, blue, blue, white, white, the palm that, put, take your palm, bring it down, connect the two, or three, and bring it up. And congratulations, you, my friend, have solved the first layer of the Rubik's Cube. You'd be like, you should be proud of that. That's a big step. It's usually one of the hardest things to do. Not really. Now, I'm gonna teach you how to do the second layer in this part and then finish. Now, I gotta skip on this, on this middle layer. So next what you have to do is you do the middle layer, which is this, or this, this piece that I'm rotating this so all right in my case all of all of the pieces that have to go there are in the wrong spots and are actually in here which is not good because then i'm gonna have to do this algorithm do not worry what i'm doing right now i'll teach it to you later right i mean right now all right so you see this piece red and green you see it this is a green it has to go right here this is a green side Sorry, the lighting is a little bad. So, I'm going to... Uh, so, you the, 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 the color that's facing you, you put it with its color. Hold it like this. It has to go down there. And you do this algorithm. This is actually a little long algorithm, but, uh, but you have to do it with me. Connect the two. And you've solved part of the second layer. Now, an easy now here. This has to go here. You can't do it here because these two colors do not match. So you have to turn it here where these two colors match. This is the green and orange. Now do this. I always remember like I always remember it like this. Bring it away. Bring this up. Bring it back. Bring it down. Connect it. Bring it away. Bring the side up. Bring that back. Bring it down. I always remember it like this. You don't have to, but after a while, you will get the hang of it. So, in some cases, it will be the opposite way, where this color has to go here, and this, and you have to turn it away on the opposite side. So right now, just do what I'm gonna do. 
this away. See, you have to bring it away from the side that you that you're actually on. So this has this cube has to go here. So bring it away, bring this up, bring it back, bring it down, move it to the side, bring this side up to fix it. You know, so bring this side up, bring the the, the piece that's connected back, and bring it down. And congratulations. You, my friend, have solved two layers. Ah, you are so close to learning how to solve this cube. But that doesn't mean your journey ends now. Continue my training by watching the next video. And, and you learn what it takes to be a, a Rubik's Cube Master. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll clear, and I'll, uh, the next part, we're going to be solving this top layer. Peace.